Yeah. I was, I've been begging time. Tone to ask me to marry me for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> there's been a lot riding on this. It is a little bit of a soft spot. Like, there's been a lot riding on this. And you're just going to delete it because I said, like, hey, come here right now. Stop drinking that water and come here. <laughs> Which is an exact Wait, something I would way. do. I need a camera to punch it because I don't know if Katrina's crying or laughing. Every, every time we talk about shit like this, it gets so funny to me that I... Anyway... <laughs> Are you crying right I'm now? I'm not crying. Oh, yeah, I'm crying because I have no ring on my finger. <laughs> I think that's really what is happening right now. Are no, you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Are you crying? Because now know. you look like you are. No, I'm fine. I like this. No, it's just I got really sad for you right now. Thank you. Because your eyes, but I don't know if it's the makeup. Because like, no. I know that like you can't handle makeup either. <laughs> the so last time like a- we had it. I had the makeup on my inner liner and I'm and really bad over. at it. And it was over. It was So done. any just- kind of giggle that might elicit a little bit of extra um, yeah. so lubrication in my eye will be tenfold yeah, because of the makeup. So I didn't know if this was that, that moment no, or if, if it was like tears. I am a softie too. I'm a crybaby, but I'm not crying now. Anyway, <laughs> back to the oh story. Oh my gosh, Toad just married no, her. If I said oh something, my God. If I said something really mean, I was like, yo, no, you can't finish that. Get here right now and take this picture because my mother-in-law's leaving. Like, yeah. and if I was about it, I would own up to it, own up to the and, pressures and, of and it. And apologize. And apologize profusely because- to be honest, yes, I like things a certain way, but I really don't pride myself on being a b- to get those things done. I think that's really whack of people sometimes. <laughs> you can't even look at me with a straight face. It's a, I know what you mean. You can do things and you can be firm about it, but you don't have to be a b- and nasty about it. Yeah, I just don't think those things apply to you. I in think that they moment, do. In that moment, okay, that's why I'm you trying are, to. You're gonna grab their camera and break it. In that moment, you're gonna go bash their car, Katrina. You know what? I want to do that. You know who would do that? Tone, because Tone also understands this whole wedding photography. Yeah, I think it would under, be WWE everyone would. there. I think you and him <laughs> would tag team. Everyone would go be on the top ropes and and literally like that person's car on fire, bro. That's so disrespectful. What that person would do because they're being petty. Because I was a bitch to them. I get it, though. Like, I'm, if I'm being a bitch, of course, you want to react a certain way. That's why. I think you would do something petty like that in that situation. I, I would think not if you were delete offended, photos like no, that. No, no, no. I don't think delete. But you would do something snarky and disrespectful. I do. I would. 100% I would hold this. the photos. I would hold them. I would hold them. Until you apologized to me correctly and had a conversation with me. Like, bro, you're not going to get these. I don't care. Guess it's what? It's very weird. I did the $2,500 deposit. You don't have to pay me the other $2,500. I'm not going to give you these photos until you apologize to me. Like, that's the type I would do. Not delete Absolutely. the memory of the day. It's I very mean, And that's petty, too. What I just mentioned, that scenario. Yeah. That's a petty thing to do. But as, delete? As we talk about this, get the Katrina Petty meter <laughs> going. Because this is a perfect example of the pettiness. Katrina, what's the most you would ever spend on a photographer's work at your wedding? Oh, well, photographers are really expensive. So I know friends that have spent like $5,000. $5,000? That's normal. Woo! Good thing for you. You don't have wedding plans in the near future because <laughs> that's thing, a lot. Good thing and bad thing. <laughs> well, I mean, you could always go down to the courthouse. I have an iPhone. No, that's a, I would never let you just do iPhone photos at my wedding. Luckily, uh, Tone's brother. It's a little if judgmental. Tone, if Tone is the one that I do end up marrying, his brother can take pictures at the wedding. How much is he going to charge you? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully not $5,000. Not $500. Do wow. it off the strength. Well, we believe in equality and equity, <laughs> Katrina. And I don't think that's fair. But however, let's talk about this story. This person was trying to do his friend a favor by being the photographer at his wedding. Great okay. plan. Sounds a lot like what you're trying to do here. Right. Correct. So the guy was basically telling his friend, hey, listen, he's not a professional photographer. He just likes to take photos of his dog, right? Okay, so that's strike one, but please continue. Is it strike one or is he just being really honest about the situation? On strike one for the people who are having a wedding, hiring this guy that just takes photos of his dog, probably with his iPhone. But according to the story, and this all was happening on Reddit, the guy told his friend like, hey, I'm not really, you know, a professional, whatever. But Mm. then the friend was like, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care how the photos turn out. 
I just need you to come take these photos for me. So of course the friend trying to be a good friend says yes, shows up to the wedding. Sounds real low pressure, by the way. Yeah. Because to me, I, that's very a pressure job because getting that moment when they get their kiss or that moment when the groom sees his bride, those are high pressure moments. That's what you get paid the big bucks for. So I, what he suggested is very low pressure. I would hate to be a vendor at your wedding. What? I would What did I just say that made you hate? This is regular you wedding are talk. Extremely indecisive, yet very picky at the same time. <laughs> It is actually remarkable. I think you're the only human who could be this indecisive and be picky at the same time. No, I think there's a bunch of us that you, are like this. There okay. has to be. Okay. Indecisive but, picky people. That sounds like a great group that I need to make on Twitter. First step, you've admit this. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, the friend decides to go to the wedding to do the solid to take the photos, right? Mm -hmm. Easy. It's a long day. From my understanding, the venue was really hot, right? So he, I guess, went through his water already. Long day. Those start at 6 a.m. Easily, right? You got to get there early. They're getting hair makeup done. You got to get there while everyone's getting ready. And then you're like the last person to leave. Yeah, it's usually a 10-hour job. At least. Roughly, right? At least. And from what I read on here, the friend who was doing the favor was only going to get paid $250 for a 10-hour day. <laughs> To take pictures of a wedding. Just do it for free. Like at that point, I mean, I'm not hating because $250 is a lot of money. But right. if it's your friend and you're doing all this work, at least for free, there's a little bit less accountability that you have to give. And you could really just be like, hey, you didn't love it, but you didn't pay me anything. You couldn't afford it. So this right. is what you get. Like, you know what I mean? Like if so, someone's going to lowball you... You almost set the standard for people to continue to lowball you at that price. I don't think he cares. He takes pictures of his dogs. I, I think know, you're I'm trying just, to complicate the situation. I'm I just think saying business-wise, this oh, is just right. a life hack. Don't ever don't lowball yourself. Katrina. For me, I think don't ever <laughs> lowball yourself. Right. You're better off doing it for free because then someone's going to hear about, oh, you gave them this deal. Now right. I'm going to try and get that dealer. Oh, she only charges $200 for this. Right. So then you become known as this person that will do things for $200. Like you're better off be like, yo, my price is usually 5000 But since you're my friend, I'm going to just do you a solid and do this for free. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this doesn't apply here. Right. Because I think, you know, it is what it is. Again, right. I think back to the point nice. he offered... Only because he got pressured by his friend to take these photos. And he was like, okay, fine. I'll just do them. Right. So long story short, as I was reading this entire situation unfold, mm -hmm. it's around five o'clock. The food starts coming out. Obviously, people are going to start eating. Right. And the photographer is like, hey, you know, if I could just take a 20 minute break to eat, have something to drink because it's been a long day. He doesn't have any more <laughs> water. The venue is extremely hot in He's there. Been there since 6, 7 a.m. probably. Right. So the friend, the groomzilla in this situation was like, no, you can't take a break. You're either the photographer or you're not. And ultimately, the photographer, obviously hangry at this point, right? right? Because he has an A, he's just- And it's hot? Like, add that to it, He's thirsty, please. he's going through it. What he does here is very wild to me. Okay, what? He makes a hard stance. He says, fine. So he deletes all the photos he took and left and said, I guess I'm not the photographer. And this is five o'clock. So they're eating, which means the ceremony or whatever. He already took the pictures of that. Right. And he decided to delete those pictures. Yeah. And he made it a point. He deleted again in front of the groomzilla. Like, oh, that's what you're trying to do to me? Bet. Boom. Delete. Okay. I get it. I think a better way to handle it would be to leave and not delete it. Right. And be like, yo, you're being ridiculous. I need water. I'm going to step off. I'm going to go get a water, go get right. a drink, especially if they're homies. I'm going to get some food since you're not feeding me. You didn't put me on the vendor list. I'll be back because I know you're tripping because you want this to be a special day or whatever. But I need to eat. So I'm going to go. And then if it's, oh, well, don't come back. Be like, all right, I ain't coming back. But you know what? Deleting? What would you do if someone deleted the photos? Let's get to that part. Well, I wouldn't put them in this position. That's crazy. Let's say you're paying someone $5,000 and you being who oh, you are. Oh, we would fight. At the wedding? You don't have to finish it. I'm, I'm probably not me in my dress, 
But it's like you, you are mean in your dress. No, and I'm saying I wouldn't fight in the dress. Oh, okay. oh my gosh, you couldn't wait to call me mean. I wouldn't fight <laughs> in the dress. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, yo, that's ridiculously out of bounds. You what just would deleted you do? it. No, listen. Here, you and Tone are getting ready. I lose my We'd mind. We feel bad for Gary because he couldn't take the. <laughs> photos today he broke both his arms he just couldn't okay <laughs> hypothetically tone's brother who you would pin this on to do can't right, do it right right? Right, right right so you get somebody else who's you're cool with you pay them a good amount of money to take the photos right and you know you're just having a moment the katrina moments that we know and yeah. you get a little snippy your favorites mm -hmm. and they're like you know what forget this i'm not doing this boom i deleted all the photos i'm gonna catch you next time and leaves. What would you do? Well, first, if I'm being, the I would definitely have to take a step back. But it's gonna be hard because in that moment, he's deleting my. I'm deleting it right now because you got a nasty attitude and you need to be taught a lesson. Oh, I would apologize profusely and be like, "Hey, go in your deleted files and undelete those, please." Done. Forever. Done delete forever? forever. Okay, then I can't apologize anymore because it's done. And then I would probably scream at them. First, I would try to salvage it. I'd be like, oh my gosh, no, you know what? I'm sorry, the pressure of the day. I'm being, I really didn't mean it. It's Here's too some late, food. Katrina. Here's some water. You, could, you should have thought about this ahead of like, time. Like, can we really, like, listen, Katrina, I get it. listen, enough. the amount of pressure I'm in, I'm really sorry. I take it on me. I was such a, you. I'm so, okay. so sorry. Here's a compromise. You keep one photo. Everything else, that's not a delete. compromise. Delete. No, don't delete anything. Do you fight them? Well, yeah, it depends. How is it Don't gone nice forever? Now. Is it gone forever? It's gone forever. Then, yeah, someone's going to have to fight them. Especially if I already paid them their agreed on rate. No, you paid a deposit. Well, agreed on rate. So I paid yeah. the $2,500, 25 after they gave right. me the rest. Yeah. We agreed upon this. Okay, I'm being a... You signed a contract that you're going to deliver me these photos. It doesn't say anything of how I'm going to treat you, unfortunately. Wow, you are... But the contract says You're you owe disgusting. me these photos. I'm just saying, if we're stripping it all back, right? Stripping it you all back. You are corporate America. I already said I was going to you apologize. Are, you're a monster. No, we're stripping it Based all back. Based on the contract and what it says, it doesn't determine how much you treat you. All right, I hurt your feelings, bro. I hurt your feelings. But guess what? We're in a business transaction here. But you were disrespectful. I'm sorry. It's too late. The pressure got to me and I'm sorry. Hey, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie and say, hey, oh, I can always rise above pressure. Yo, I was probably Bridezilla this day. Yeah. And we've been planning it for a year. Yeah. I was, I've been begging time. Tone to ask me to marry me for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> there's been a lot riding on this. It is a little bit of a soft spot. Like, there's been a lot riding on this and you're just going to delete it because I called, I said like, hey, come here right now. Stop drinking that water and come here. <laughs> Which is an exact Wait, something I would do. I need a camera to punch it because I don't know if Katrina's crying or laughing. Every, every time we talk about shit like this, it gets so funny to me that I... Anyway. Are you crying right I'm now? I'm not crying. Oh, yeah, I'm crying because I have no ring on my finger. I think that's really what is happening right now. Are no, you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Are you crying? Because now you look like you are. No, I'm fine. I like this. No, it's just I got really sad for you right now. Because you. your eyes, but I don't know if it's the makeup. Because like, no. I know that like you can't handle makeup either. The so last like time a, we had it... I had the makeup on my inner liner and I'm and really bad over. at it. And it was over. It was So done. any just... kind of giggle that might elicit a little bit of extra um, yeah. so lubrication in my eye will be tenfold yes. because of the makeup. So I didn't know if this was that, that moment no, or if, if it was like tears. I am a softie too. I'm a crybaby, but I'm not crying now. Anyway, <laughs> back to the oh story. Oh my gosh, Tone, just marry no, her. If I said oh something, my God. If I said something really mean, I was like, Yo, no, you can't finish that. Get here right now and take this picture because my mother-in-law's leaving. Like, yeah. and if I was about it, I would own up to it, own up to the and, pressures and, of it. And apologize. And apologize profusely because to be honest, yes, I like things a certain way, but I really don't pride myself on being a to get those things done. I think that's really whack of people sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even look at me with a straight face. It's a, I know what you mean. You can do things and you can be firm about it, but you don't have to be a and nasty about it. Yeah, I just don't think those things apply to you. I in think that they moment, do. in that okay, moment, okay, that's why I'm trying are, to. You're gonna grab their camera and break it. In that moment, you're gonna go bash their car, Katrina. You know what? I want to do that. You know who would do that? Tone, because Tone also understands this whole wedding photography. Yeah, I think it would be WWE would. there. I think you and him would tag team. <laughs> everyone and would go be on the top ropes. And 
and literally light that person's car on fire. Bro, that's so disrespectful what that person would do because they're being petty because I was a to them. I get it though. Like I'm, if I'm being of course you want to react a certain way. That's why I think you would do something petty like that in that situation. I, I would think not if you were delete vendor, photos like no, that. No, no, no. I don't think delete, but you would do something snarky and disrespectful. I do. I would 100% I believe would hold this. the photos. I would hold them. I would hold them until you apologized to me correctly and had a conversation with me. Like, bro, you're not going to get these. I don't care. Guess it's what? It's very weird. I did the $2,500 deposit. You don't have to pay me the other $2,500. I'm not going to give you these photos until you apologize to me. Like, that's the type I would do. Not delete Absolutely. the memory of the day. It's I very mean, And that's petty, too. What I just mentioned, that scenario. Yeah. That's a petty thing to do. But as, delete? As we talk about this, get the Katrina Petty meter going <laughs> because this is a perfect example of the pettiness. Okay. Again, I would not let a vendor go 10 hours without eating and then be mad at them because they want to take a break, bro. That's insane. It's well, the okay. What would you do? You're like, Katrina, I need you to photograph the wedding because I would, I'll be honest. I'm more prepared than you. Mm -hmm. I would always have a backup plan. I'm not. You. That's not. There's no C Absolutely. option here. I would have more photographers. That's not a C option here. That we're talking now, literally in this situation. Okay, which if is what you three put it out on me. Who bailed on me? Right. Let's say three people who want to delete the oh, photos God. that we took. Because I am definitely more prepared. That's Let's just not be, the situation. Please, the please don't dehumanize me or discredit <laughs> me right now. Okay. Dehumanize you. Great oh trigger word. Gosh. Please do not discredit me and who I really am. I'm always prepared. Nessa, I'm talking about literally this situation, just like you just theoretically put me in it. I'm, I'm telling, going let to me go in theoretically order. put I, you in it. Let me tell you, let's say all the photographers, one fell in the water. The other person, I don't know, broke all their limbs spontaneously. Mm -hmm. And then because everybody was having a rough day, I was like, hey, I need the photo right now. It's about to be it. We're about to kiss at the altar. And they thought I was rude and I was at the mercy of them. I would be like, you know what? Okay. I know what you would do. I know what you Katrina? do. I can't do this right now. No, I know what you would do. A selfie? You would say it deleted then. And then you'll be like, I'll just use everyone else's pictures. I would do something That's like what that. you would do. Because I want to prove a point. You're not yeah. going to hold me hostage it. in my wedding. You're not going to hold yeah. me hostage. Yeah. You're not. It, it, period. Doesn't have to be your wedding. Fine. Katrina, you have your iPhone. You guys taking pictures? Has somebody take the picture. Somebody get, get our baby to take the photo. <laughs> Even like, if it's just of my ankles. That's I don't exactly care. what you would do. Now, um, the question is, though, would you go bad on this person? For having deleted everything. That's the question. So exact same scenario. I would want my, money back. Exact, I would want my you want money. your $250 back? I would want my money back. Uh-huh. I want my $250. I want That's my $2. It? I want You're my not getting wonder. mad? I mean, can I get mad? Am I in a space to get mad? Or do I get or when I get mad, it's a lawsuit attached to it. Be honest. Now you give me the real scenario. Like not no, Nessa currently right now. With it wouldn't Colin. be though, because what you're saying, you getting mad at them. There's no lawsuit there. Now, if you put hands on them, that's something yeah, different. Yeah, but I'm saying, even if I cuss them out, even if I say, I can't believe you would do something this disgusting, <laughs> they would try to paint that out to be something else, right? You and I both know this. Okay, so no, no Nessa lawsuit, nothing. What are you doing? I'm cussing you out. That's it? Yeah, I'm not going to fight you. Whew. I'm not going to fight you. Would you get someone you. else to run up on them? No, I, I do my run-ups myself. Okay. That isn't a run-up situation because, really? I feel, because I feel like that moment, look, you're going to sweat, your hair's going to mess up, the makeup's done. I'm going to put everybody in a bad mood. Yeah. I'm going to put every the, single... The wedding would end. The reception. And I'm going to let it end on this jerk who does this? No, mm -hmm. I can't let that happen. Now, if I run into a on different site. day, <laughs> it's a different site. situation, possibly. Right. But even then... I know people aren't about that. Ooh. So I'm going to have to just cuss you out, take an L, With some and move extreme on. vitriol, too. I know you do. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Like, listen, I learned how to cuss because I listened to great music coming up, okay? First off. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the, the delivery is going to be different when oh, I do man. it. But, I mean, what am I going to do? You're yeah. not going to win that. Yeah. None of us are going to win it. And I wouldn't want my people to fight. I don't know. I, I could see you doing something. 
Because I've I would seen first you try apologizing. Well, of course you would, but I have seen you try to fight people. And I'm so past that. I know, I know okay. I will lose any fight, right? Oh, you mean physically? Or you were trying to, or you're fronting like yeah, you were I'm going so to. I'm so past that. Okay. Like, who am I? I'm, even back then, I was probably fronting like, bro. You were. Yeah. Like, am I really going to fight you? No. No, I'm not. Yeah, I know. Because like, it would be me. Yeah, who like, would have I don't to be know stuck why I would doing front. the fighting for you. You know, when you're young, you think you got more, you know. No, more we did have more energy, energy then. Our knees say, didn't hurt as much. But more balls than I did. Like, yo, and why am I really talking crazy? Like, like this yeah, is we're crazy. not about that. Are you I'm kidding me? I'm not about that life. And if I were and we really, you know, squared up, I would probably get my <laughs> beat. I'm okay. I'm so proud of you. Accepting that now. I'm so proud that you've accepted Remember that. Remember I told you about when I was pregnant? Wait, did we tell this story on the pod yet? When some girl tried to uh, fight me? What? No, okay. Remember I told you about that time I was pregnant? I was like big pregnant, eight, nine months pregnant. Walking to the car, some oh. girl was putting like makeup on, but looking at my uh, my mirror in the car. So I just beep beep. Yeah. And then I go, excuse me, and I walk, and I, maybe she got embarrassed or thought my beep beep was you disrespectful. know disrespectful. You're being rude. <laughs> that I was being rude for telling her to move up out my car, and I didn't say it that way. That I was being rude because I wanted to get into my car, like. She was what rolled happened? Her, so she rolled her eyes at me. Wait, how many months pregnant? It's like eight, nine. I was oh. big. I was big. And she goes, What'd you say? And I was like, Oh my god. I didn't god. say anything. I was like, and you know, old me probably would have because I, I think I think I think we could have done a, a pretty good square up, her and I. Yeah. But she really was like, What'd you say? I was like, I didn't say anything. I was like, is like I just was trying to get you to move out the way. She was like, Yeah, whatever. She's all you said something. And then I stepped from behind the door. And then she looked down. She's all, you lucky you pregnant. And what am I going to do? What you am are, I going to do? You were. I was pregnant. I was very pregnant. Am I supposed to keep going at her? Oh my goodness. So I just looked at her, turned, hopped in my car, started moving. You were there? Whole different scenario. Remember that one time? Wait, we, if I were there while this happened to you, oh man, that girl would have got a You that, don't do that. You don't yeah. do that in general. But right. If, I, I like how I'm like, you don't do that. You don't get violent unless someone's pregnant. But I mean, in a sense of like, if you have to defend someone who's pregnant. But, and the thing too was she was just had so much negative energy. Like I was like, well, Bro. I mean, anybody who responds like that. Like I didn't. You know. And I literally didn't. I promise you. And I'll, I'll own up to the times I'm being, a, I know yeah. when I am. I know when I say some slick, I'll own up to it. Yeah. I literally said nothing. You know what? I take it back. I don't think I would have tried to fight her. But I definitely would have said something to her yeah. because I don't know what she has on you and you're pregnant. Right. So like younger right. me might have not thought that through. Right. Now, me now, for sure, I'm thinking this through. This happened before. I remember, again, I was pregnant. I picked you up. It was me, you and Mia. We were driving and we were trying to get a parking spot. And we we're like in Midtown. We we're like on 5th, on 50th, 5th and oh, 50th, something man, like that. Oh, I remember So that. we're driving. I'm, I'm driving us. I picked this up. I'm pregnant, right? And I'm big pregnant again. I'm like eight, nine months pregnant. Yeah, this was- Because I was moving. I was outside when I was pregnant. I was like very, we're yeah. moving around. I'm driving. I'm picking you up. We're going out to eat. We're like, you know, moving. Anyway, we're trying to find a parking spot. Oh, and I And you know, parking this. This out there bad. is horrendous. So finally we see a spot. We're like, oh. So I'm trying to back up into it. Some guy had a- um, a cone right and he was like no you can't park here and I were like and it wasn't anybody like from the city or anything like that some, it just looked like somebody who does this all the time save a spot yeah I get it. just to save a spot and I was like Hacking and the thing the is I was backing in mm -hmm. we weren't up at his cone but we're like hey can you just move it a little bit because he still had more space right mm -hmm. but it turned into just this big old thing man I get out the car Woo. and I'm still, I'm on this hype where, you know, there's no win for me in arguing with people this big when right. I'm this big. Right. Doesn't make sense. And then you get out the car and you're like, look what you're having. You're making her do this. She's pregnant. You should feel bad. Like, look, yeah. you're being so rude. Like there's more than enough space to park. He's all, no, you can't park here. I need this yeah, spot. It was blah, bad. Blah, blah, blah. Open public spot. Yeah, and it, it was, was starting bad. to get bad. Then Mia came, and then you guys are both kind of like yeah, debating no. with this man, debating and, literally. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just look for a spot. For it. Yeah, but he ends up moving, and I was like, we're gonna be here for an hour, bro. Like right. he's saving it for something that was gonna happen much later. Which it he, was, it was just bad. That was bad. That was bad. Really, really bad. Yeah, 
I'm surprised nobody like saw that. That was a very public display of disagreement happening Absolutely. on fifth and I don't know. Right. I think it was higher. Here's up. the fifth thing. Like I think 60, I think because there wasn't anything physical in any of these situations. I think people just don't care. They walk by. They don't care if people are yelling. Yeah. I think so we're just used in, to it. Yeah. Everyone's like, okay, everyone's yelling. Right. Wow. But that was that was a situation. Okay. Let me ask you this. Would you fight your husband Tone's mistress if... She wanted to hold on to his items in a really tough situation. I don't even like these kind of situation. Okay, but let's then say don't tone, put on me. Okay, but let's just say, because it's the only way to get your real reaction. Tone passes away. Oh my God, right? Vanessa. The mistress wants to hold on to some of his items so that she can hold on to it. But there is God. an unfortunate situation in this. The mistress is having his baby. <laughs> so her justification <laughs> in this is that she wants the baby to have some, some of, kind of connection with the father. Yeah. Would you give Ooh. her items that belong to Tone so, so that tough. the baby could have? That's so tough. That's like the same conversation of when you find out that your husband passes away and he has a mit mistress. Is the mistress allowed to come to the funeral? Right? That's a mistress Ooh. that he's had for years on end. Maybe even had a side family. Oh right? my gosh. This is just... Are they allowed to come to the funeral? The thing is, how big of a person are you at that point? But does it make you death? a big of a person is the well, question. that's what I'm saying. Look. Or have we been Whatever he did, that's his bad, right? But, right? Well, she probably, it's her bad too because she knew. Okay, so let's talk about this story because okay. I, thankfully, this is not a real scenario <laughs> Not a real scenario, you. thankfully. But this did actually happen, right? Okay, Nessa, you're right. So here's a story that I found on Reddit. Very complicated situation. So this woman finds out her husband is cheating on her. Horrible. Weeks after that she found out. Right. He passed away in a car accident. Oh, gosh. Sounds bad, right? It, it is. Gets, it gets messier. The woman that he was cheating on her with was pregnant. Oh, no. Oh, yes. no, no, yes. no, no. So she, so the pregnant woman reached out to the widow. Right. And was like, hey, I'm five months pregnant. Mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to raise this baby. Wow. And I want you to tell the family about me so that they know he has, you know, a baby on the way. I want the baby to be close to the family right. and the culture. Understood, by the way. This woman goes, you know what? Here's their number. You tell them yourself. I think that's kind. I think that's very fair. Right. Take it further. Pregnant woman hits up the widow. She's like, you know what? Can I get some of his possessions? Can I get like, you know, some of his clothes, his record collection? And then she asked for his wedding ring. But she's asking for all this on the premise that she wants the baby to feel connected to the father. See, the wedding ring is the problem. Because I think what she was probably going to do is act like she was married to him, right? And be like, hey, your dad passed away. Right. We, you know, act like they had this long, loving relationship. I'm okay with the records given. Yes. I'm okay Possessions. with the clothes given. I'm okay with Pictures, everything else. Whatever else you Yeah, need. everything else except the ring. Because the ring is different. That's for you. And that's weird because you were the mistress in this whole situation. Well, the widow right? said no. I agree with her. Yeah. So now the in-laws are also involved trying to get a paternity test. Right. And you know what? While we were, however you felt about the widow's, you know, um, choice not to give the pregnant woman any items... She did agree to set up a trust fund for the baby. I think she handled this very maturely. I think she's being fair. She's being very fair. Like, hey, all right, here's their number. You contact them yourself. Right. Here, let's, we could do a trust fund for the baby. Meanwhile, she has to be grieving her husband that just passed away and now dealing with this too. She's, hey man. She's better than me. Better than me. By far. So let me ask you, what do you think about the mistresses showing up to the funeral? I think it's okay. Wow. You are really just you free flowing. I'm proud of you. I Very think, progressive. I think, you know, they had love. The mistress and my man. Oh man, this is we are unpacking. We're it unpacking. Today. I just like, you know, if imagine you, just you want to cheat. Or if you I don't want to cheat. I'm if just, you want to step out on tone, do it the I mature, don't. respectable way. What about and me? Give him, and give your, him a hall pass and give yourself a hall pass. What about pass. me allowing a mistress to come to the funeral is me wanting to cheat. I'm just saying, I'm trying to have more compassion 
in whatever situations. Will have... she sit next to you? No, <laughs> come on. Okay, that's what it's done. She can come. Don't be sitting here hugging everyone like, oh, thank you for coming. Don't do that. Come in, pay your respects, fry at the casket. I get oh, it. Oh, that is kind of Do what you got to do. Very generous. But don't be you. hugging on people being like, thank you so much for coming. Like, bro, no. I'm thanking them for coming because this was my husband. You can come pay your respects too because I know you have something going on. Right. But don't be acting like you're part of the family now because we're not friends. I have a question. Would you allow the kids, if the mistress had a baby with the husband, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. would you allow their kids to call you auntie? Just, you can let everybody else call you auntie. So I'm curious to know. Yeah. Because the you know mistress's what? kids who belong to Tone <sighs> want to say, hey, Auntie Katrina. I would. Can I come over for Christmas? Okay. So what is the question? Can they come over for Christmas or Both. can they call me auntie? And call you auntie. Okay. They can call me auntie. And I think for me, it's a cultural thing, a sign of respect for your elders. Okay. Fair. I don't call no elder by their first name. That's very weird to me. Okay. Okay. That's done. That's done. Can they come over for the holidays? Not with their mom. And I'm not trying to be mean, but right. yeah, all right. You want to come kick it with your brother or sister that you might have a relationship with? But they with? want you to forgive their mom. Come on, now you're doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, all this to say, at least a widow agreed to the trust fund for the baby. Yeah, man. I think it's amazing. I think this is a really great example of how to make a horrible situation somewhat work in a tragic situation again compassion for people you don't know what they're going through i'm really trying to just be compassionate when it comes to things that i might not agree with or that i might be pissed about or yeah some way somehow somebody talked to me a certain way you know i try <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't mean we, it's always gonna work but we literally were talking on friday and i'm sure i was bitching about something it's okay yeah. Yeah. We'll just do another podcast to hold ourselves accountable, to feel better about ourselves, right. only to repeat it again. Right. That's the way to do this. This is our fake therapy for ourselves. Okay. So before we wrap this up, mm. because I do want to get to questions. Okay. What do we call this segment? We're going to need people's help. What did we say? Nessa Q&A? Oh, the segment. Yeah. I think it should be Nessa Knows Nothing. Okay. So we'll <laughs> leave it up to you. It's either I prefer Nessa knows nothing, but Colin thinks it's very negative when I am doing self-deprecating things, but I love it. And you know what, though? But I, I will, am. I will say Nessa knows nothing. I was just saying it as a joke, but you have a very, and I will say this, a very great perspective on the advice you give. Like, I don't know if you realize a lot of people seek you out for your advice because you're, you do such a good job of giving really sound advice, which is crazy because sometimes you'd be flying off the rails for your for own. Sure. I don't know why. But for others, you have yeah. a good overview, bird's eye view of what is the right move for someone to make. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think agree. I really, I really feel that. I think we'll leave it up to everybody else. Nessa's bird's eye view. No, no, no. I like Nessa knows nothing or what was it? Nessa's Q and A. Yeah. Q and A with Nessa. Q and A with Nessa. Q and S. Q and S. Finesse with Nessa. What do you think? Let us know. Okay. Anyways. So let's do the first question. Okay. Why don't you read it off? Okay. This one's great. So, hey, Nessa, I've been offered my absolute dream job in another city. It's everything I've ever wanted in terms of career growth and opportunities. The catch, my boyfriend of three years doesn't want to move. He has a stable job and is close to his family. I'm torn between pursuing my dream and potentially risking our relationship. Okay. Should I take the job and move away? Sincerely, okay. please help me, Nessa. Okay. So let me ask, because I just need to make sure they don't have any kids because it was not mentioned here. No, they don't have any kids. I actually can sign this because this exactly happened my to me. My boyfriend of three. Okay. This exactly happened to me. This should be say, sincerely, Katrina. Okay. I think she should leave. Leave the boyfriend. That easy, huh? Absolutely. But that's, again, I'm coming from a place of career is very important you for are. me, right? And if this is truly this person's absolute dream job in another city, then you leave him. Unless he goes with you or you make long distance work. Right. But if he's not willing to compromise on long distance and he's not willing to go with you, don't give up your dreams. Let me tell you something. In 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, okay? And plus you don't have a kid with this 
person. Like you're not really bound to them. Okay. Let's be honest. Even I'll take it a step further. Even if they were married, Mm -hmm. married, and it comes down to your dream job. Truly, this is your dream job. I'm not talking about a great job. I'm talking about your dream job. Right. Big difference. All right. I think you do the long distance thing. But if they're not willing to do the long distance thing, it shows you how much they don't believe in your dream. Right. Absolutely. And I think in that regard, that shows you everything you need to know. And you should be thankful that you found this out now before you had a kid with this person. Nessa knows something. Actually. I'm being honest. I know this sounds harsh, but in again, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you can look back and feel great that, hey, I made a great decision to pursue something that I absolutely love. And I had the perfect dream opportunity to make this happen. And I wish at that time that person believed in my dream Mm -hmm. and my happiness as much as I did, but they didn't. So they obviously weren't the one because you're going to spend the rest of your life wondering, resenting this person. And there is nothing worse than having resentment towards somebody. True. Now, I know nothing. But this is how I truly feel about these situations. Now, if you go ask a lovebird or somebody who didn't really, you know, have something that they absolutely wanted to pursue, they would tell you the complete opposite. And that's okay, too. Right. Well, I mean, I I, I agree. This happened to me. I left. Tone stayed. Yeah, but you guys did a long distance relationship. We did do. But all that to say. It it could have also not worked out. It could have also not worked out. But it did work out. And then eventually Tone came to New York. Right. And you guys have been able to build yourselves, get to know each other more. And I'm not trying to hate on back home energy. Right. Just sometimes you got to develop on your own and you got to create your own and you got to get into a rhythm of your own space. And it helps you grow. True. Yeah. So I say if this is truly your absolute dream job and it happens to have to be in another city. And your boyfriend, fiance, whoever this is, husband, I don't care. All of it are just titles. They don't believe in supporting you by doing a long distance relationship. And then they don't want to move with you. I mean, they're telling you they're putting you in a bad position at this point. They're basically saying break up with me, but I don't want to be the bad guy to do it. So just pursue your dreams because you won't resent that. Resent is very, a very bad thing to have harbor. Also, I want to say that I am not a professional. Um, (laughs) Seek professional advice. This is just an opinion of mine. And, you know, again, I can only go off of my experiences in life and what has worked out for me and by watching others who have made horrible mistakes in their life like or great decisions right. of, in their life katrina almost made the worst decision of her life one night she was having a breakdown with me because i was moving to new york and i'm like i know who i am i am i make opportunities happen there was no opportunity at that time that katrina traditionally understood but i knew the kind of person i was to create opportunities she's like you know i just don't know what i'm gonna do like i I don't know i'm just gonna go be a nurse right and the way she (laughs) said it i would never want someone to be my nurse with that attitude and they were just resorting to it absolutely not no now it was different she's like man um, this is my dream. Like, I want to be a nurse to help. And oh, man. I can't wait to do this. I can't wait for the long hours. I can't wait to be underpaid. I can't wait to not be respected by people. Then I'd be like, you know what? Why are you Congratulate. hating? I'm not hating. I'm saying that nurses should get paid more. They should be respected more. Right. They should be valued more. But that is the reality. That is why even more when you hear someone pursuing nursing school because they want to, We should be giving them the world, but that's a different conversation. People are going to assume I'm being political because I think nurses should get paid more and should be treated with respect. But I'm just saying the way Katrina was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? I just knew that wasn't going to be the path for you. And I told you, hey, look, I don't know what this is because, like, I don't do well in emotional, like, career breakdowns because it's very clear what to do in these situations. And I just reassured you everything was going to work out Mm -hmm. because that's all I could do as a friend. Now, whether you took it or not, that was on you. Mm -hmm. And you made the best decision of your life. I I mean, if I may say. (laughs) And you do say. Absolutely. (laughs) I did. I I love my life right now. And I don't know what it would have been like 10 years ago if I didn't come with you to New York. We don't know. It could have been better. It could have been worse. But you know what? I will tell you, I have no regrets. That's my point. And if I could live a life 
with no regrets and no resentment, yep. I lived a great life. Cheers to us, my G. Nessa knows something, y'all. <laughs>